Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hi everyone, and welcome to another Knowing Your Enemy guide. My name's Drew Fernandez, and I'll be walking you through the four different ways on how to counter Frost Death Knights in the arena. Frost Death Knights are quite popular specs in the 3v3 bracket, and can decimate your team quickly if you don't play well into them. This guide will go over the main ways to counter them in order to avoid being destroyed by this class and increase your chances of beating them. The most important way to counter a Frost DK is to play around their chill streak. Typically, a Frost DK's offensive setup will be a death grip into a double or triple blinding sleet, followed by an AoE stun. Most of the time, this requires the use of a trinket by one of your teammates stuck in this stun, as the Frost DKs will annihilate two targets with their chill streak here. Chill streak only bounces between players within five yards, so the purpose of your trinket is to run out of range to stop the chill streak from bouncing, hence stopping the big damage it can produce. You can also look to outplay these guys by using certain cooldowns to stop their setups from happening. Here is an example where Nerd Rage bladestorms the blinding sleet, immuning himself from said crowd control. This allows him to also immune the leg sweep, then follow up by landing a triple fear during Joel's chill streak. As you can see, even though the chill streak does some pressure, the offensive go was shut down by Nerd Rage, which means the Frost DK won't be able to get good pressure until his next blinding sleep. If unable to deal with the Chill Streak setups, then this could easily be your team's demise. On this setup, when Chill Streak is just popped, the Rogue uses his Trinket on the stun, but isn't able to get out of the 5 yard range in time. Due to this, the Chill Streak bounces, and Joel obliterates the RMP in quick succession, showing you just how powerful their Chill Streak pressure is if you are unable to avoid it. Bear in mind when dealing with Chill Streak, it can also bounce between pets, so be careful if you're a pet class and your pet is next to you during a Chill Streak setup. You'll most likely want to move the pet away or end up having to use a trinket to get out of this hairy situation. Note that Grounding Tome is probably the best counter to Chill Streak, as one bounce into it is all that is required to take it out and negate its pressure. So if you have a Shaman on your team, make sure to pick up this PvP talent against Frost Death Knights. This leads onto our second way of countering a Frost DK, as it's important to avoid cleave pressure as well as chill streak. It's argued that Frost DKs are the best cleavers in the game, as they are able to dish out incredible two target pressure constantly, required that the two targets are stacked due to their natural cleaving abilities. Not only that, Frost Death Knights deal relatively weak single target pressure in general. They also always have Hearts of Aura and Delirium up, so being out of range of the Frost DK will also avoid their Hearts of Aura too allowing you to deal your damage better, as well as not hinder your mobility cooldowns too much. This can obviously be quite easy for melee caster or double caster comps, however it becomes harder for melee cleaves to deal with. The best way to avoid this is by changing up your target choices, usually going for the other targets and not the frost DK. In this case, both melee cleaves are tunneling each other's healers in order to avoid cleave pressure from each other. Another way to counter Frost DK, which could depend on the class you play, is to dispel Delirium at the right times. Dispelling Delirium as much as possible will make it an annoyance for the Frost DK having to reapply it. It will also be good to have more mobility when against the spec, so you can play the game much more effectively. Doing this as often as possible, or just before you use big mobility cooldowns, can make it easier to deal with this PvP talent from Frost DKs. Now, the fourth way which most teams can take advantage of is to capitalize on killing Frost DKs. Whilst it's true that Frost DKs can be difficult to take down passively, most comps can actually kill Frost DKs. If you have the tools to kill them, or if they use their defensive cooldowns for peeling situations, such as a trinket or anti-magic shell, in order to peel for their partners, then you could make big swaps onto them and take them down. When they don't have these cooldowns, you can look to use your offensive cooldowns or have high burst pressure to take them down when they have no big ways to survive. Disarm can be a Frost DK's nightmare, as using it will make them unable to death strike the burst damage, which can easily take them down. 
Here is an example where the Frost DK gets disarmed during heavy pressure onto him. Admittedly, with Joel using a sloppy trinket, they are still able to take him down quite quickly with the burst pressure and good crowd control from this Windwalker and Destro Warlock. To further deny Death Strike healing, if you are very certain that you'll get a kill, you could try to avoid their melee range or use abilities such as an evasion or die by the sword in order to try land those kills and deny Death Strike healing. So that covers the four simple ways to countering your Frost DK. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.